Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joel Hargett, <laughs> your favorite real estate broker. Um, hopefully I'm your favorite. If not, uh, soon be I'll be your favorite as well. Uh, this is my little man. Obviously, uh, coronavirus is still going on, so we have virtual learning. He has a quick break. My other two are currently in class, and um, he decided to sit here with me while I'm doing my video. So this is real life. But please don't knock that over. Please don't knock that over. Let's sit right here. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Please and thank you. Um, yes, so what is today's video about? Today's video is going to be about five ways that we can show gratitude. Oh man, I need to work out more because if you heard me say five like that, you probably heard me take a deep breath like, oh, I'm out of breath. But anyways, five ways to show gratitude. Uh, why do we need to show gratitude first? Um, you, you don't have to. It's completely up to you. However, showing gratitude, it does help out other people as well as you. A uh, couple things that I did doing my research on why to show gratitude is it helps relieve stress for yourself, uh, it helps improve your mental state, as well as it helps you build emotional resilience. Um, obviously, you know, there's tons of stresses in life. Uh, right now, we have the coronavirus going on. Uh, if you have kids, some of your kids might be virtual learning like mine, others might be going to school, and both of those options have a lot of different challenges with them. Um, and a lot of uncertainty, uncertainties. Uh, so, you know, anything we can do to help with our emotional resilience can help out. For me, you know, I started off strong during coronavirus, emotional, emotionally, and then as time has gone on, it seemed like every day seemed to be the same. And some of the stuff that I found pleasure in and enjoyment in, I didn't feel the same. So. I was talking to a mentor of mine um, in the real estate business and she was just telling me how showing gratitude to people and actually one of the things that she recommended is on my five things of gratitude and I'll tell you about that, that's actually my favorite uh, way to show gratitude and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But anyway, since I've done that, it's helped out a whole lot and I feel like I'm getting back on track. But let's do number one. Can you do number one? Put a finger up for number one. Number one. So the first way to show gratitude is just to tell someone that you appreciate them and what you appreciate about them. So for instance, my wife could be like, hey Joel, I'm so, or Joel, whatever you want to call me, I'm so glad that you made the bed today. You did a really good job. It looks amazing. Thank you. Obviously it makes me feel good. Uh, if she sees this video, she might say that to me. I'm not sure. But Again, just telling someone something that they did and that you appreciate them. Uh, number two, something that I do occasionally that I actually enjoy doing is sending people coffee. I do that or, you know, alcoholic beverage, whatever is their forte. Um, but I send that through Venmo or like um, a cash app. So a lot of times I show homes for other agents because they might be too busy and they send me money to do that to Cash App or Venmo. I've been too lazy to actually link that to my bank account. So I just take the money that's in there and I'll shoot somebody a $5, um, $5 and just be like, hey, this is coffee on me or hey, I appreciate you or thank you for X, Y, and Z. Uh, go get some coffee. Um, it makes me feel good. I hope it makes them feel good in, in return. Uh, but that's number two on our list of gratitude. All right, little buddy. Can you do number three for me? Put three figures? Yes. All right, number three. Um, it's just being there for someone. So call someone on the phone uh, and just listen. Uh, there's a lot of, again, there's a lot of things that are going on stress-wise right now. And I've noticed that some people just really need to talk and let things off their chest. So I've called people, you know, and I've just sat there and listened to what they said. I didn't try to tell them, you know, they're right, they're wrong. I didn't try to give too many suggestions on how to maybe improve things. Uh, just because sometimes they don't need that, at least in my opinion. Sometimes they just need someone to talk to and to listen to them. And that's what I'm here for. So. Number four, 
do something for someone um, as an act of service. So again, bringing it back to my wife, she does something that I really appreciate, which is all the time because she's super amazing. Um, you know, she might like it when I do the dishes. Uh, all right. So, like I said, since I have my kid here and we're virtual learning, he's like to jump in the background and knock over my stand. So, that's real life for you. Um, but, number four. Getting off topic because of this guy. But I love him and I appreciate him and I'm grateful for him. So, um, yeah, doing something for someone. Um, so, you know, my wife is amazing. She always does great things all the time. So, some way that I can show her that I appreciate her is by doing the dishes or you know it might sound crazy and girly-ish but you know I love my wife regardless so I'll do this for her um she likes it you know if I were to brush her hair so you know every now and then I brush her hair no shame happy wife happy life um but you know just showing or just doing acts of service for people um you know it doesn't have to be your significant other it could be your friend um a co-worker, whoever, but just doing those acts of service. And lastly, my actually favorite, my mentor suggested this to me. Uh, one of my mentors suggested it to me, and I think it's awesome. Um, a handwritten letter. So you write a letter to someone, um, you know, telling them either what you're thanking them for or how you appreciate them, and then you send it off in the mail. A lot of times we get emails, um, you know, everything's electronic now. So sometimes it's nice just to get a handwritten letter. Um, I don't know about you, but I know myself, I have on multiple occasions kept like thank you cards and birthday cards way longer um, just because it's handwritten. Like it means so much. Um, I will throw a disclaimer in there. Uncle Sam loves me so much. So January 1st, he's going to ask me for so much money. So... In my thank you letters, I may or may not throw a nice little business card in there so then I can say it's business purposes and then kind of write that bad boy off a little bit. Um, just because Uncle Sam loves me so much, I just want to show him how savvy I am. But back boy. to um, back to that again, handwritten letter. It's, it's great. Um, I try to send them out to my friends um, and especially... You know, just people who have done so much for me. So, obviously, right now, it's January 2nd. You need to go get on your iPad or bring it to me because we need to sign you into class. Um, it's January 2nd. Um, coronavirus is going on. And, you know, bringing it back to real estate real quick and things that I'm grateful for is in real estate, there's five levers of business. They always recommend you do at least two to three just to keep business coming in. Um, and those levers of business are open house, door knocking, um, calling expireds, expired listings, calling for sale by owners, and talking to your sphere of influence and getting business from them. Um, so with that being said, since there was quarantine and everything going on, um, my, my actual levers of business was open house, uh, door knocking and my sphere of influence. I was never really a good cold caller because I just didn't like doing those things and um, Bear with me one second. I just didn't like doing cold calling. It's not something that I enjoy Not saying I'll never do it, but right now I don't have any need to um, But with that being said, here you go buddy. Go back downstairs with this. She's about to let you back in. All right, um where was I? Yes. So, open house, uh, door knocking. With quarantine, those things were extremely limited. Um, and those two ways where I make money. In real estate, at least the type of real estate that I'm in, if you don't make a sale, you don't make money, you don't make money, you don't eat. Um, I have a family to support, and it's really important that we eat. So... I am extremely grateful for everyone in like all of my friends, my sphere of influence, who and your sphere of influence is people who know, like, and trust you. Um, my sphere of influence has kept me thriving through this 
coronavirus time. And I just want to say that I really appreciate you. Um, you know, you've stepped up, you've given me calls, you've asked how I am, you supported me. Um, you bought houses with me, you sold homes with me, you've referred people to me. And then the people you referred, they become my friends as well because they're just so great to work with. You actually referred me to great people. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I just want to say I'm thankful for all of you. Um, you know, without you, I, I honestly don't know where I would be right now. Because, um, you know, it's just one lever of my business. But I don't even treat... Oh, well, yes, when we're, in, we're actually working in a, you know, business relationship, I definitely treat you as a... Um, a client just because I want to give you that professionalism um, however I don't see you as you know just a client I see you as a friend and I just want to say I sincerely am grateful for you um, obviously you know I have, I have kids and y'all have let me bring my kids with me to like you know my listening presentations with you walkthroughs um, closing table or sediment table um, showing homes everything and you know generally I wouldn't do that just because I don't feel like it's the most professional thing to do. Um, if you do that, that's perfectly fine. However, that's not how I generally would like to do it. But with coronavirus going on and all the restrictions and school and daycare and everything, um, it's just not feasible for me to leave them at home at this age. So I want to say I thank y'all for understanding first and then also still proceeding to um, trust me with one of the biggest investments of uh, most people's lives which is real estate um, so yes this video is about five reasons or five ways to show gratitude which is tell someone what you appreciate about them tell them that in person send them money on Venmo or cash app or whatever other app just to say hey I appreciate you this is on me um, call someone on the phone and just listen to them do something for someone as an act of service and write handwritten letters um, again, those are the five ways you can show gratitude. There's a million other, other ways you can. But again, I just want to let you know all of my sphere of influence. Um, if you bought a house with me, you sold a house with me, um, you referred someone to me, uh, if you even just thought about me, um, I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate you more than you know. Uh, this is uh, my first video of many that I'm gonna do um, real estate related. There's gonna be a couple fitness related just because that's uh, another portion of my life. But uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe, please. It's definitely gonna help uh, go a long way. And then, you know, when I have like 52 videos later, you can be like, hey, I'm one of the first ones to like and subscribe. Uh, again, Sphere of Influence, super grateful for you. Um, and I will see y'all next week because the plan or the goal and what I'm gonna do is do one video a week uh, again guys thank you for listening go out today show someone some gratitude and uh, just know regardless even if you're just watching this video and I don't even know you I appreciate you because your support helps me you have a great day and uh, show some gratitude guys bye